So one of the things one of the things you have to do if you have to clearance for your flywheel is uh, if you have a, a like if you're running a six volt car and you decide you want to put a 12 volt size flywheel, which is a 200 millimeter flywheel, and you want to put a 12 volt starter in it. Um, a lot of guys just run the six volt starter, and eventually you're going to want to upgrade that uh, clutch and everything. So this is how a little bit about how you do that. Um, Ken, this is something you need to be very careful about. Um, yeah, yeah, it's because see this edge right here. There's this little machined edge right along here, and that kind of goes all the way around. Okay, you can't take off all of that. If you take it off to where all that end edge is gone, right here, this little step. Okay, and and that edge is no longer there. What that does is that when your engine bolts in. It, it's a machining, two machine surfaces, and that makes it so that it doesn't do this. So if you take all this edge off and you put your engine in, your engine's going to keep coming loose on you, and it's not going to be centered properly. So, and it's going to cause problems with maybe your your shaft and your transmission wobbling, stuff like that, and you know major issues. So always make sure when you do this clearancing thing, you do this again at your own risk. Make sure you do not take off this edge. So like right here, you see how this is down. There's still that edge. We just machined this down a little bit. So it's easier to get the flywheel in to check everything else. Now, typically your machine work you're going to do is going to be like right here. And there's a bump right here. Okay. There's another one, I think right here, a little bumpy thing around where that stud is. You can feel it with your finger. And there's one over here on this thing. And then there's some in this corner here, and this thing's going to need to come down. Well, oh, it had my finger out of the way. Uh, this thing's going to need to come down, and this corner is going to come. You're going to have to, it goes back a little bit further. So sometimes it hits like right in here a little bit, and like right around here. So what we're going to do is, he's going to go ahead and get this one ready. So what we do to do this job is we take the old flywheel, uh, or, or the new flywheel, and a gland net. Um, Usually it's best if you have a gland nut because I don't know if we have one right now. Yeah, we do actually We found a gland nut So we put a gland nut in there and put the flywheel in and put it on the shaft And use that as a guide In fact, you can kind of put it in there and then like turn it a little bit and That'll help you find those places to where to grind so the trick is is don't get rid of machined edge right here if you see that that little machined edge it goes all the way around it goes around right here it goes around right here it goes around right here and it goes around right here now see that even though that's machined you can still feel that edge is still prominently there if you machine that to where that's gone then you're gonna have a, your transmission case is toast so that's the main thing we'll show you a little bit once we get uh, a little bit more down here, and we use this tool here. Easy. So we use one of these right here, and it's always these things are handy for porting and everything else. So using the same time. Easy. Yeah. And also remember, this isn't a magnesium case. You do not want to hit your bolts, the steel bolts, with this thing, because if you cause a spark here, all this is going to catch fire. So. It, remember this is magnesium it is a flammable material so you cannot create um, spark near this while you're doing this and make sure you constantly you know clean out and beware you know be very careful doing this procedure and uh, but it, just showing you where to do it do it at your own risk again So kind of what it looks like is about like this here, if you guys see, uh, where you still have this edge, you see that little edge is still there, we machine this down a little bit, you know, and around here and around here, that should pretty much do it, but sometimes what you'll do is you'll actually 
put this the engine in the car and then you'll go to tight you'll tighten everything up and then the engine won't turn you'll be like oh man what do you do what I've done before is actually loosened up all the bolts on the engine start the engine up and then it slowly tighten them while it's running so that's one way to do it that's up to you, you want to try that um, but the other thing you need to change is your starter when you're doing one of these things um, it, it, what I do is uh, I go with the 12 volt starter and you have to get something called a conversion bushing so I gotta run down and right now get a conversion bushing for this because the only place that sells them is Volkswagen shops so you can get a 12 I get my 12 volt starters that are right out of parts they're always cheaper there and so um, I get those there and this is a brand new starter from from them uh, so I didn't even have to get a rebuilt but I turned in one of my 6 volt cores so if you have a core it's always a good idea to go to Riley or something like that locally and then they have a better warranty um, so that's usually what I do it's up to you I mean all this stuff's up to you but uh, I have to get a go, go get the starter bushing for this so you can't just use the one that comes with it this is for like a 73 bug or whatever and yeah, you know whatever it's 12 volt bug and you have to get a conversion bushing though so right now I'm gonna run out and so while your engines out you want to take out that starter and, and press the old bushing out and then you can actually put the engine in if you need to or whatever and then put the bushing in after or you could put the bushing in while the engines out it's up to you on that so anyway I'll uh, I'll be talking to you guys in a little bit later on this as we get it done all right so this is what the 12 volt case actually looks like so if you can see there's a little bit of difference um, there is a little bit more clearance I think it's on this side of the 6 volt um, that you may need to also just machine just a little bit right in here um, for it so you might want to assemble your clutch up and put it on and you know make sure that the, the clutch springs if you if you have the early style with the round springs going around uh, if you have the late style um, with the early ring on it you're probably okay but sometimes with those little round things if you know what I'm talking about if you look at your pressure plate you'll see that they may hit right in here too so um, unfortunately I did we got the engine in the car I had to leave and we got the engine in the car before um, I could show you what we did the other thing that we did at the end um, is actually bolted up the flywheel you know put well we had the flywheel already on the on the new engine or on the engine we uh, put it in and then we noticed when we were turning it over we as you're putting the engine in the car turn the flywheel over a few times and feel it if it scrapes really lightly that's usually normal it'll scrape a little bit and then we go ahead and start the car up um, and I've actually done this before where I tightened up all the bolts and the uh, and the car and, and, and the engine wouldn't turn over so I've actually loosened up all of the bolts start up the engine and then slowly tighten up the bolts while the engine's running so I've done that myself um, that's just an idea that if you ran into that situation you were trying to do this flywheel thing put the 12 volt um, uh, the 12 volt flywheel on the 6 volt trans uh, I've done it many times and uh, and then if you want to you can take the engine back out clean out all that uh, all the debris inside there um, so don't put all the back tin on it or whatever you know don't put all your tin on just get it running for a minute and then tighten it up and make sure it's right pull the engine back out clean everything out and uh, usually you're good to go so I've done many of them uh, it, like I said it's usually right here right in here in this corner and this part uh, right in here in this corner in this part it's like there's a little bump right in here there's a little bump right over here you can kind of see them right in here and you, when you have the flywheel out and make sure you leave this machined edge if you notice it's on this 12 volt this is a 12 volt trans so I thought this would be a good way to show you if you look at yours and you can see what the 12 volt one looks like um, if you don't have one you can kind of see what you have to do so anyway I'll talk to you guys in the next video hope that helps you um, get through that little process and uh, please like share and subscribe of course do it at your own risk uh, it, you be careful remember it's magnesium it can catch fire so Keep that in mind.